In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add or make or enable a phone number uh, into your Teams client. Um, and this is my Teams client running. And you can see there's a lot of other options, but I'm going to just to touch on one thing, which is calls button. Um, in this calls button, you see there is a, a dial pad and there's a phone number, okay? So I can actually make and receive call. So let me call from another desk phone to this number and see if I can receive the phone call. Yeah, it's calling me. Okay, it's working. So how do we enable this? So enabling is super simple. Uh, let's log into portal.office.com. So I'm going to portal.office.com and um, go to admin page. So before we uh, begin, let's verify some licensing stuff. Um, so what you need is, E3, if you have an E3 license, then you need a, a phone system license plus a domestic calling plan. There are two things you need. If you have an E5, then all you need is a domestic calling plan. So let me show you. Uh, subscription in my licenses what I have is I have a domestic calling plan um, which is always you know add-on um, and then you need either e3 or e5 if e3 if you have e3 then you need a phone system license add-on to e3 um, or if you have e5 you know just e5 and domestic calling plan okay so that's the licensing um, that you you need to have this uh, to enable the telephony so let's go to the users. So what I mean by that. So in this user, let's pick the demo user uh, one. I'm gonna go to this demo user. In this demo user, right now it, the user has an E5, so you know there's no E3. Uh, so it, it has a the E5 has a, the phone system license already built in, and then it, this this user also added a domestic. So let's see. So in E5, you see inside there, uh, da, 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 phone system, right? So this is what you need. E3, this is not available. So you need to purchase this, just this component and add to this user, all right? If you don't have E5. Okay, so that is covered. And then you need a domestic calling plan. So calling plan gives you minutes and the phone numbers, all right? So the phone system add-on is PBX functionality but you need a minutes and the phone number. That's the domestic calling plan. So once these two components is added, com components are added to the user, now you can go ahead and um, assign the number. But before you assign, you need to acquire the number, okay? So you need to go to admin center and teams. So once you're in admin center, um, click here and go to legacy portal. So once you are in the legacy portal, go to your voice tab. In the voice tab, let's get some phone numbers. Um, to get the phone, num phone number, you need to go to phone numbers tab, click on the plus sign and new user number. The service number is, is different. That's for conferencing or auto attendant IVR stuff. Uh, for the user, the new user number, and then select, um, so we support many countries here. Uh, these are the countries uh, you can get a number directly uh, through Microsoft and let's say state. I'm just gonna pick California and I'm just gonna do, let's say six to six number and how many numbers acquire you can do uh, based on the number of your licenses. You can have more than 11. And this is just my demo account. So I'm just gonna add one number or you can reserve, you know, uh, 10 number, 20 number, up to the number you have, you're allowed. Um, so here's the number, acquire number. Okay, so number has been assigned, so not assigned, acquired. Once number is acquired, and then the next thing you need to do is emergency location. So if user dials 911, um, you know, the, the emergency personnel needs to know where to go today. In the future, we're probably uh, going to enable dynamic E911 somehow. For this time of recording of this video, we only support the static 911. So add an address. So your name of your address, company name, and uh, sorry, not Canada, United States, 
and write the proper address. Click on validate and save it. And once that's saved, and you'll see that address is saved here. When the dial is 911, uh, this is the address going to be sent. Okay. Once that is done, and then the user is assigned the license, it's really simple. Go to voice users tab. And the voice users tab, you see there's a demo user one, right? It's enabled, but not doesn't have a phone number, right? So I can check the box, assign the phone number. And that's the number I you know, acquired. Hit, click on that, hit save. Okay, that is saved and it's pending. In a couple of seconds, this pending will be um, activated status, okay? Just uh, gives a couple of seconds. Now, as you see, the demo user, that number is activated. You can call this number or this user can call outside. Uh, good to go. Now, I wanna cover a few things. If you're trying to do a trial, um, just to test it out, uh, you need some trial license for domestic calling plan and also for E5, right? So what you can do is you go to billing and purchase services. And then under that, I believe it's uh, under here um, and enterprise suite and an e, uh, Office 365 E5. Uh, da, da, da. I have to scroll right. Where is E5? Here we go. Scroll off it. And then there's a three dots here. And you can click and then start free trial. Okay. That gives you 25 users for 30 days to try. And that is something you need. Um, it doesn't bill you once the trial is done. If you don't renew, your license will be disabled. Now, once you have that, uh, you also need uh, add-on subscription, right? So that is a phone, uh, sorry, domestic calling plan. So you scroll down, you see the domestic calling plan and click on that three dots and it start free trial. That gives you 25 users for 30 days, a domestic calling plan. Add those two into your, in, into your, um, your tenant. And that's how, where you see the licenses like this is domestic calling plan and an E5. And that's what you need to you know, add into the user that you're trying to activate. Um, that's it. It's really simple. Um, and then once that is done, you you also have option to use desk phones. So let me show you what what that looks like. So there are a few phones from our partners uh, ecosystem, right? There's audio codes, there's the Yelling, there's a Crestron phones. Uh, you can actually sign in with the Office 365 and put in your desk phone. So it doesn't really need VPN. You can plug into anywhere as long as you have internet access. And also you can use in your conference room phones. Um, there are several uh, vendors like, you know, uh, there's a Polycom, there's a Yelling, Crestron, they all make conference room devices that you can just simply log in and it works. Um, the, the advantage is you can, you know, make the call with the name, you can do meeting join with one touch button. Um, it's really, really simple to use. Okay. So the voicemail actually goes into your Teams client and there's a voicemail tab and it automatically configures for you. So there's nothing really need to do. Um, so yeah, the voicemail is there. You can actually click on here and call back or uh, actually listen to this, click on this and you can read this. There's somebody's calling from China, uh, probably spam. Uh, there's a, uh, yeah, you can read this message, uh, play this message and stuff like that, okay? And this is a very short video and hopefully um, you find this very informative. Take care.